undocumented is not synonymous with, with evil or rude or callous or malicious, and entering the country, the country illegally does not a criminal thing. I'm an immigration lawyer, and I have stories of all about all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. To this day, I love to hear about how she helps people and how she does her best to make the lives of others easier. She's told me about women who've been raped, men who've been beaten up by gangs, and children whose parents made them cross the border so they have better lives in America. She told me about three-year-olds being frozen in court and six-year-olds asking where their parents are. She taught me from a young age to have empathy for the people around me and to put myself in their shoes. Everyone has baggage, and everyone has a story. My mom's story includes trips to help the people being imprisoned in family detention centers. Since 2014, she's been an active advocate for immigrants and their rights. There we go. These women and children, we are wa we're walking up to immigration customs enforcement officers and letting themselves be detained because at least then they'd be in the United States and away from people trying to hurt them. To detain means to keep someone from proceeding or to hold back. These women and children were literally being held back from living happy, free lives and being able to support themselves. My mom has clients tell her all the time that all they want is a work visa so they can at least support their family. These people don't belong behind bars and children should never be in cages. The detainment of families has been an issue for a very long time, but it will no longer be accepted. And these babies who are separated from their parents, they will never be the same. They will never get to be carefree, happy, or ignorant. The reason those teens walk away from their sponsors is because they don't want to be with them. They won't be with their parents. The reason sponsors don't answer calls or contact ICE is because they're often undocumented as well. In some attention centers, ICE officers are told not to hold or console children. Not only are these babies deprived of love, they're deprived of comfort. This is not an immigrant issue or an issue that can be ignored. This is a human issue and an issue that we are capable of fixing if we work together and fight to help these people. Amen! Woo! Children Woo! belong with their families and families belong together. Woo! Woo! My mother's favorite Bible verse is Isaiah 56 verse, verse 1, which states that we as Christians must maintain justice and do what is right. Amen. This is how we can maintain justice. Welcoming immigrants, helping people who just need someone in their corner or someone to have their back. We have to do what is right and help our fellow people. Family detention is an ongoing issue. This is a humanitarian crisis that cannot be solved by a few simple words or by accepting, attempting to fix mistakes that have been made by making things the way, by making things the way they are. If you're complaining about how long it takes for judges to get things done, and definitely detaining people is not the way to spur them to action, and it's not how we should treat our fellow people. We are all humans, and we all deserve to be treated kindly and with respect. End family detention. This has gone on long enough. Amen. Woo! Woo!